Welcome back everybody to Wallet Reset with Mike Malbro once again. Today we're going to talk about something that actually I was watching a video today um, from one of the people that I follow on YouTube that also talks about affiliate marketing. Uh, his name is Josh Elder. You can actually go and check out his channel in the description. But he was talking today about uh, where to get started when you're first starting out with affiliate marketing. And uh, he kind of said something that made me realize that um, what I what people really need to do, right? So he said that you have to have you should start out with free traffic um, because it doesn't work out the way that a lot of people say, which is you spend a dollar to earn two, right? Uh, that's not really how it works out when you start out. And he's right, right? And so it made me really think like, what do people actually struggle with when? they fall into that trap of like paying for traffic and failing, right? And so I want to talk to you guys today about something that is super important, which is expectations. And this is kind of what I said on, on a comment that I left under this video is you have to have, when you're first starting out, you have to set really good expectations of what is going to happen in your business, what it's going to require of you, right? And, and, Everything about your business, you have to uh, understand in terms of the strategy, right? So if you are just taking a course and you're like, oh, okay, well, this guy says throw up a, a, a funnel because I can, you know, basically get people into my funnel and then pay for ads because, you know, he says that if I have this offer, I can, it, it's one you know, one dollar in, two dollars out, and so I'm I'm always going to be recouping money, and that's just not how it starts out. And in order to understand this, right, and in order to set good expectations, you have to also understand that, like everything in life, there is a learning curve, right? Now, learning the learning curve with SEO, uh, or the learning curve with free traffic, and the learning curve with paid traffic are about the same. The only difference is you're paying to learn with paid traffic, right? So if you're starting out and you're absolutely broke and uh, you don't have a way to pay for traffic, right? I say start with free traffic. The reason why I don't say start with free traffic regardless of whatever is because I started with free traffic when I first started out in, right? I did SEO for like three years. Um, and really just studied it, understood it, um, but I, I did it from a different approach. And this is the part that really kind of messes people up when they focus on free traffic is, so you have free traffic, right, for SEO, for social, and then you have a, almost like a subcategory, right, once you get in the door of that. You have to understand that there is what they call black hat, gray hat, and white hat. So white hat people are like, Okay, well, you create content that people are going to like and use and need that's useful, and then you ask other people to share it that have an audience, right? You ask a ton of people to share it. Gray hat people are in between the white hat and black hat, so they kind of do both, right? Black hat people, black hat people literally just try to game the system. Now, here's the problem I had when I first started out is I only, and I didn't really understand that there was a difference, but I only studied from pretty much black hat people. And to be honest with you, it's really my fault, right? Because I would not allow myself to set realistic expectations. All I said was, I want this to happen as fast as possible uh, with the least amount of effort, right? Something that I, I absolutely, I can't stand when people say this now because I've made this mistake so long, but I was trying to find the easiest way to do something, to get the most results. Right, And the problem with that is that you are literally trying to find the way that the companies that you're using to get, the, get this traffic don't want you to use, right? So with Google, that was like, okay, buy a whole bunch of like junky links from like Fiverr and stuff like that. And it works for a few months and then you fall off and then you got to build it over again, right? It's not a long-term strategy. And almost all of Black Hat, uh, anything is not a long-term strategy. It's a quick, let me get to the money, grab the money, reinvest it in something else, and always keep the money moving, always starting something new, right? Uh, and it's not something that is very sustainable long-term. White Hat 
is very sustainable, but it's a lot more effort. Like you have to actually go and make connections. You have to network. It's essentially a real business, right? It's a long-term strategy, but it's not necessarily going to be a short-term like, oh, I'm going to make, you know, a thousand dollars this month. You might, you might start out, you know, really having to say, it's going to take me four months to really make the type of money to where I can say that this is successful. Right. Even uh, one of the biggest names that you probably have ever heard of for SEO, uh, Brian Dean, he had he said in a uh, he said that he it took him his fourth month to make ten thousand dollars. Right now he made, I think, what, like two thousand dollars the second month, which is like, OK, this is kind of showing me some results. But he had already been doing SEO for like five years before he launched that business. So he understood what he was doing the day he started and he still only made $250 his first month. All right, so this is why I say start out with paid traffic. If, if you can set realistic expectations and you are disciplined enough to follow, keep going, right? Because here's the thing, it's gonna take you four months regardless. It's gonna take you six months regardless. It's gonna take you five years, 10 years regardless to have a set amount of results, right? And so the best way to approach paid traffic is to understand that you have a realistic budget, whether that's $50 uh, a month or $50 a day. Set your budget and spend that budget. No matter what you do, try to spend all of it. And it has to be money that you're okay with losing. And it has to be something that you can stretch out over a period of time that's longer than a month. Right. And you're not going to make your money back the first day. Right. So that's your, your expectation. And then when you set that expectation, you have to go forward and say, OK, well, today I'm going to start by just getting my ads out, getting some traffic, collecting data, finding out what people uh, are gravitating to, what's good about what I'm doing. Right. After I have a set number of people come to you know my site or I spend a set amount of money. I'm going to look at what happened, right? You have to test it. You have to have something to compare it to. And you have to say, okay, well, this made me X, Y, Z amount of dollars. Even though I didn't profit, I can also see that certain keywords are the ones that really bought me the valuable traffic. And the rest of them just spent money. So I can get rid of the ones that spent money and only focus on the ones that made me money. This one made me a lot more but it cost me a lot more. So I actually only had like two or three keywords that brought me anything. I can do that. And, and here's the thing. You have to come into it like you're trying to test your way to success. Really, testing is failure, right? Testing looks like failure, but you're really testing, right? So that means that you're going to start out and you lost 20 bucks or 50 bucks or 100 bucks. And then you're like, okay, well, I've also got leads. All right, so you actually paid a hundred dollars for however many leads you got, and then you say, "Okay, well, what can I do to make these leads buy?" That's where you start to sell your product. You build a relationship through email, through so on and so forth. So, if you're going to start out with any business online, always understand your funnel, know how it works, know what you have to do, so on and so forth. That's why I make these videos because before I start to actually dive into how to do. I want you to understand what it is. I, you have to understand the concepts in order to be successful. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you got something out of this. Be sure to check out Joshua Elder's YouTube channel because he's pretty dope. He's pretty awesome. Uh, I watch his videos pretty much all the time. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. Take care.